Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It's a kit in 130 second scale and it's not just an aircraft model, as you can see we have also figures included into this kit so it will be interesting to see such combo in the video review. So we are going to open it together with you and check what is actually supplied here but box art I think gives you a hint on what to expect so we have four figures, one aircraft and we reviewed both figures and aircraft as a separate kit so you can find it easily on our youtube channel and now we have this kit number 32037 you can see it comes in this large box here is comparison with my hand next on the side we have some information about this kit and frankly speaking i can barely see it again so just give me a second uh, we have 27 parts for assembly of four figures and we have 93 parts for assembly of the aircraft so it's not such a huge number for 130 second scale aircraft and in my opinion that's uh, i would say a feature of this kit because you won't be spending uh, your time with a lot of now let's say additional parts to glue here and there and on the opposite side you can see two margin options which are included into this kit but i truly hope that there will be more because it's kind of strange to see only two markings in one through the second scale kit so just like previous releases from ICM, this one is sealed with the tape from all four sides and now i'm going to cut through it and just a small note in case you let's say always inspect the plastic spruce in the, your model shops that's will be let's say a small barrier to your inspection habit because you won't be able to open the box and that's why it's better to watch such video review where you check all the parts together and of course do not forget that i usually post the review link in the video description so if you would like to check photos they are also provided in the review article which is inserted in the video description so that's a typical box style for icm we have flexible top cover and we have a with really sturdy white cardboard box which should be easy to open so just give me a second and here it is so all frames are separated in two bags but it's because there are separate kits i mean figure set is obviously a separate kit from the aircraft model and it's a receivable plastic bag so i'm going to open it right now and check what is actually here these are figure parts and i'll place it here let's zoom in a bit open the camera so that you will be seeing everything and this is a 130 second scale figure set and i would say it's somewhat similar to what we are what's it used to get in 135 scale as you can see separate legs one piece torso one piece head and separate hands obviously and now i'm going to zoom in even further so that you can see these figures closer and in my opinion this is a really good bonus to have out of the box because it will help you get a bit more I would say realistic or convincing appearance in your build and as you can see the overall details on these figures they look really nice so it's just a matter of careful painting and weathering if you would like to get some let's say uh, war experienced pilots and of course there is nothing inside this uh, legs hands and arms so be careful while positioning them together it might require some due care now i'm going to open another plastic bag this one is dedicated to aircraft parts and it's a bit tricky because we have a small plastic bag with clear screws so just give me a second to take it out and what do we have here so as i said we have clear sprue packed into the separate plastic bag so here it is and here we have canopy parts they look really good so molding quality is uh, quite nice and i hope that masks template is included because acm recently started including such bonus and it's really handy especially in such big size next we continue with the first gray plastic sprue this one is dedicated to two fuselage halves and also wing parts we will have engine parts here so even though parts count is not that huge still all the main elements they are copied here so you won't be getting really let's say 
plain model out of the box and of course you can also detail the engine for example with some additional wiring attachment points are quite thin but note that they are placed for example on the wing they are placed on the leading edge but I really like how the surface details look like especially uh, how they are visible in this video because here from my angle they are not that prominent but they look, I would say, more or less real and that's a really cool feature to have in one thirty second scale kit. Here we continue with another set of, or let's say, pair of wing halves and if I flip it over here we continue with fuselage halves. So as you can see there is, let's say, minor cockpit details implemented inside there will be enhanced with help of separately molded cockpit parts because as you remember cockpit should be assembled out of separate panels and it will be inserted in between fuselage halves and we also have guiding elements which will help you with proper position of wings and fuselage parts together next we continue with another gray plastic sprue so this one is dedicated to mix of parts so for example here we have landing gear wheels but we also get uh, some parts for I can see one piece propeller we also have some parts for wing mechanization so again we can zoom in so that you can check everything closer and molding quality seems to be fine I don't see any possible issue even with the thinnest parts so it's more of a I would say careful assembly matter and then you have a quite nice result in my opinion and note that landing gear we use they should be glued out of two halves i think there should be yeah there are guiding pins inside but of course for large scale it's better to get some resin replacement which will be a bit more you know, natural in appearance and it will add let's say attractiveness to your model so definitely spend some extra money do not be let's say don't save money on such feature which will be visible on the finished model here we continue with wing parts so this is a top wing and you can see that it should be glued out of two halves i'm not sure why aileron is separate so let's flip it over as you can see it's not present here on the top so i guess it should be assembled somehow in a different way maybe it will be provided as a separate parts i mean obviously it will be provided as a separate parts and note that again we have attachment points right on the leading edge so be careful with that especially while separating these parts next we continue with the decal sheet which is traditionally supplied in the assembly manual not in the separate plastic bag but here we have a really nice printing quality we also have some dials for instrument dashboards our panels and we do not have seat belt decals even though it would be nice to have them in 130 second scale so be sure to copy them because it's an open cockpit aircraft and it will be visible in the finished state next we continue with assembly manual so here i have to close the lenses a bit maybe zoom out so that you can see what do we have here it's a typical icm brochure with a short history note on the cover next we continue with parts map we also have this separate insert for figures parts map and on the opposite side you can see marking guide for figures and it's also assembly manual note that almost all well actually for the aircraft all parts will be used you also have to drill some holes in the fuselage house do not forget about it because it will be useful uh, later and next you can see that some interior walls get installed here and there we also get some rigging through these holes which we drilled earlier here we continue with tail wings and we have two options to choose from next we assemble the engine and as you can see it's detailed even out of the box but obviously if you plan to expose it it's worth spending time to copy some wires on it next we continue with separate cockpit doors we also have separate um, cowling panels. Here we install some cockpit parts. For example, this one will be only for the marking option number two. Next, you have to drill some holes in the wing parts. This is also 
let's say used for some rigging on them. Next, here you can see some wing struts getting installed here and there. You have to drill wing again. That's the top one. And we continue with the top wing panel, which will be installed on the tap, step number 36. Here we install separate wing halves for the lower wing panel. And what is next? So as far as you can see, we have separate wing sweats. We have separate ailerons. We also copy rigging here, so it will be quite a interesting thing to work on. Landing gear, also various struts for this landing gear because the overall design is kind of complex on this aircraft. Next, we have some minor elements added here and there. Propeller, uh, some antennas. And that's pretty much all. We also have masks template, which is really cool. And that's the first marking option, which comes from 1938 and another aircraft from 1944. So all in all, we get a quite interesting combo set from ICM in 132nd scale. And that's definitely not a model for beginners because it's a biplane. And it also features extensive rigging, so if you are confident in your hands, then definitely consider this kit. If you are just starting, maybe it's worth adding it to your, let's say, future plans. But definitely do not jump into it without some previous experience. Uh, but it's my opinion, of course, feel free to write what you think about such combo set here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.